Hi friends, Amy Seifert here, author, speaker, and one of the pastors at Soma City Church in Toledo, Ohio. And the verse of the day is Ephesians 6, 16 that says, in addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. We have been talking about the armor of God this week, and just a few days ago, before I had to do something brave, I had an onslaught of thoughts like, who are you to do this? What are your qualifications? There are so many people better at this than you. These thoughts felt like flaming arrows coming at me, and I remembered that when we struggle with fears and lies and insecurities and false narratives, God has given us equipment specifically the shield of faith to extinguish every lie that comes our way. Now, the hearer of this letter in Ephesus most likely would have pictured a Roman shield, one that was large enough to cover you from head to toe and was used to push back the enemy. A shield usually had an identity marker on it displaying which kingdom you were with, and shields were often made of wood wrapped in animal skin and then soaked in water. Why? So they could extinguish the flaming darts of the enemy. But a shield is useless if it stays in storage. We have to get it out. When flaming arrows come our way, we have to hold it up and let it protect us. So what does that look like to take up our shield of faith? It can mean we practice faith-filled statements in the face of lies, like, God has gone before me, from Psalm 139 or God's grace is enough for me in 2 Corinthians 12, or God is my strength, whom shall I fear from Psalm 27. So today, take up your shield, rehearse what is true, and practice putting your faith in God to be strong for you.